The Wind River Range is a sub-range of the Rocky Mountains in western Wyoming. Monica, David, and I were lucky enough to spend five days here in the backcountry. Come along for another awesome adventure. Welcome to Wyoming. Monica and David and I are out here in the Bridger Teton Wilderness and we're heading to the Titcom Basin. This is the Wind River Range in Wyoming. Yeah, Wyoming. How cool is that? Now we're starting out over here at the Elkhart Park Trailhead and now working our way up. Probably go five to seven miles tonight, find our campsite. But yesterday was a long, like 14 hour drive. Made it, found a place to camp. We made it to uh, Pinedale today, got some breakfast or a late lunch actually. And now on the trail, so come along. It's gonna be fun. Just to show you where we're going here. We're here at Trails End, Elkhart Park. We're gonna come along right through here, through the Pole Creek Trail. Come up past Phot Photographer's Point, up by Seneca Lake, Island Lake, and then into the Titcom Basin right there. And that is right here in the Bridger Wilderness. Going through an area right now and look at all these down trees that happened a little while ago. I think it was last year, but all blown down and you can see how the trail's been cleared out right there where the trail crews have cleaned it up. coming up to some sort of junction up here, but it's a beautiful trail. Um, over there, there's a continental divide. And man, those are some jagged peaks. But we're going this way, heading towards Photographer's Point. Get some good pictures. I'm gonna find a place to camp for the day and get some water and enjoy the day. We have came to a junction right here, Miller Lake that way, Elkland Lake that way on the trail we're going down then look right here what a beautiful view behind these two continental divide a big meadow it's a beautiful trail out here as you can see get that right there bear spray this is grizzly country so we've got bear spray with us so we're protected there but from what I've been told from the other hikers so far nobody's seen a bear coming out. Somebody did see a badger, which is really neat. It'd be really neat to see. Some good views over there. Photographer's Point. Here we are, Photographer's Point. Look at that out there. It's a beautiful view. There's a lake down there. A little hazy from the smoke from the Dixie fire in California, but man, so beautiful. I think she's a uh, she's fallen in love with this place. Uh, <laughs> it's really pretty. <laughs> and 
take a look. You got the Continental Divide over there. And man, the views go for days and days. Man, imagine going to that lake down there. It'd be a tough one, but it'd be worth it. We made it here into camp. A beautiful day out here, and we're up over 10,000 feet. I think we're around 10,200 feet. We stopped by Eklund Lake, and let me show you around camp. That right there is my setup for this weekend. I got the Haven tarp set up, the net, my Cedar Ridge quilt, a uh, Big Agnes axle air insulated pad coming around. I've got David's tent there. David's got his Altiplex set up. And then Monica's over here with her tarp tent, her Aeon Li. She's got her X Therm in there and her Feather Friends sleeping bag. And the lake is just right through the trees over there. It's a beautiful little lake. And don't know if I'll fish it yet or not. We're about, well, flip back around. It's time to make dinner because it's 7 o'clock. And yeah, dinner time. So we'll make some dinner here. I've got some Next Mile meals. They've got some Next Mile packet gourmet good stuff. We'll probably call it a night before too long so the mosquitoes don't get us because there's quite a few mosquitoes. Well, dinner tonight is this right here. The next mile meals. This is the Italian beef marinara. Good stuff. Really good. And the cooking on a new cook kit here. Um, little MSR pot. I don't know the whole name of it. It comes with the pot. A uh, MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Pretty nice setup. Uh, my buddy gave it to me, so thank you, Matt, for the setup. It's going to good use out here in the Wind River Range. Monica, what are you having for dinner? Uh, magnesium <laughs> and electrolytes. Cheers. David down there. What do you got, David? Good choices. Well, it's the morning of day two. Um, I had a good amount of sleep last night. It was a little cold, got down to 39. But we're making breakfast now and then about to hit the trail. I'm making some oatmeal. David's got some skillet eggs. And Micah's, I think, got next mile meal breakfast. But here we go, day two. This right here is Barbara Lake. The views are amazing right here. Right across the way is the Continental Divide. What views coming up? We have to go down there to that lake, or meadow I should say, and then back up through and then over towards Hobbs Lake. Some beautiful views and across the way, I think, right there is a glacier. Wow. see Monica and David there they're heading down to Hobbs Lake. We're gonna take a little break here and do a little fishing. It's gonna be our first fishing of the trip and then uh, head on down towards Island Lake. Oh fish off! <laughs> Made it to Seneca Lake. Beautiful hike up here. Let me show you the lake instead of me. Zoom back out. Look at that. 
Seneca Lake is huge. That's what she said. Beautiful lake. There's probably some big fish in that lake. Okay. Look, look how big it is. There's, it's probably deep. Probably some good five, six pounders, maybe a ten pounder in there. Then look over there. There's like a little, like a little meadow over there. There's an island back over here somewhere. But we are going this way. Back on the trail. Oh, Mike is on a big yeah, fish here. Boy. Oh man, that's a good size one. Come on. We're here doing our water and she's got her Tinkara rod out. Oh, here we go. Oh. It's a nice rainbow. Look at that. Yeah, look at that thing. It's big. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Micah's just no. yeah, it's off. No. Micah's on oh, another fish. Man, look at that. Let's see the fish. Oh. Where's it at? Right there. Is there another rainbow? Oh and it's off. Short range release. Popped off. <laughs> another rainbow. Another nice one, a lot of color on it. We have made it to little Seneca Lake. It's got a little island out there if you want to, and the trail is across the way. I'll zoom in, see if you can see the people. Climbing up right in there. A few people climbing up through. There's somebody. Yeah, the trail goes up over through there. Up through and around. So the trail comes up through there. Meets up with the CDT over behind. And up to the Titcom Basin and um, Island Lake. Well, we're at the end of day number two here. Found herself a nice campsite. I already set my Haven tarp. Uh, Mike and David didn't set up yet because they went down the fish over there. Let me show you over here. We're off the actual CDT. You can see David's way over there fishing. David's right over there. And Monica's probably just around the corner somewhere. But this little lake does have a few fish in it. And in the morning, we get to go right up there. And that's towards Island Lake and the Titcom Basin. But I'm going to go down here in a minute, wash up my legs, and then uh, cook some dinner. See if I can find where Monica is. Huh, there she is right there. Right there. So, they were doing some fishing. Hopefully they caught something. She caught two nice fish earlier out of Seneca Lake that were probably close to like 14 inches. Did a really good job. And this is just a, such a beautiful spot. Now I know why so many people come up here to the Wind River Range and look at like the cliffs up here. That's probably gotta be at least 12,000 feet right there. It's just beautiful. Well, that's gonna be it for day two. Sun's going down. We just got done some doing some fishing. Monica caught a nice sized trout for dinner. Probably about a good 12 to 14 inches. Along with some she caught earlier today. David lost a big one, but now it's time for dinner. Sun's going down. We'll see you tomorrow on day three. It's the morning of day three. Just started cooking our breakfast and got this nice little cook kit here. Well, I set it on the pocket rocket too and 
forgot that the plastic cup underneath was on there. Look at that. <laughs> oh well. Um, other than that, it was a cold night. We all slept warm, but it got down to 22 degrees. But we were all warm, I think everybody said. Yeah, it was hot. Yeah, Monica was hot, which is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's unusual. Yeah, very unusual. <laughs> but uh, now we've got about a mile and a half, two miles to get to Island Lake. That's going to be our stop for the day. And then set up camp and then hike in the Titcom Basin. Just leaving camp and I'm going to show you the way that we have to go up. It's right over there. You can probably see some people hiking. Right in there. We have to go up this pass. I think it's called Indian Pass. Yeah, up nice. to Island Lake. Here we are, Continental Divide Trail goes that way towards the Fremont Crossing. We're going this way to Island Lake. We made it into camp, found a nice spot here over at Island Lake. Tents are all set up, now we get to explore. Let's go check this out. Wow, this is awesome. Got a, a whole Titcom Basin here. See those up there? That's glaciers. How cool is that? But man, a beautiful spot, well worth the hike in. And now it's time to find a spot to eat lunch. Look at this. Look at that out there. The glaciers up there. Let me zoom in all the way for you. When do you see that? Another one over here. Wow. I could stay here all day and take this all in. Golden trout. What are you tossing? Uh, mini swim bait. You told me don't do that. With, with, with what you put on. Oh my gosh. I saw what you put on, so I put tried something similar. This might be the best looking golden trout I've ever caught. Let me go grab them quick and bring them up to show you. Hey, 
Yeah. Beautiful fish. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a cutthroat. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Where's the golden? Yeah, oh, it's a cutthroat. Oh, okay. look at that thing. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the end of day three. We're making our way back to camp now. It's beautiful out here, look at this. Got a nice sunset going on. And we had a great time up there in Titcom Basin. But now we're making our way back to camp, make some dinner, call it a night. We'll see you on day four. It's the morning of day four. We're gonna make some breakfast, some coffee, and then go explore this lake here, Island Lake. Then start heading down the trail. But let's see what Island Lake has in store for us today. Another fish on. Another big cutthroat. Mm -hmm. These fish are massive here. Wow. You see that another cutthroat. First cast? I like third or fourth. Wow, that's a nice hooked. fish. Barely hooked. We made it to this island that Monica wanted to come out to, and it's actually the second island. There's one, two, and I came out here to do a little fishing, and I got one, and then Monica bested me. I oh, got boy. one. First cast. First cast, and her fish, I thought I had a big fish, <laughs> and then her fish was like double the size of mine. Big cutthroat. Beautiful. Really big. So we're going to keep on fishing. David's over there with the Tinkara. A little bit hard to cast a tankara right now because of the winds. But yeah, two nice cutthroat out of here so far. So we're gonna keep on fishing for a little bit more before we have to head back to camp, pack up, and then head on out. Well the fishing was good, caught some good fish. Now we're heading back to camp and heading out of here. One last look at Island Lake. <sighs> Turn around, this is a view I got going out of here. Hard work paid off for this. What a view.
Dave and I are gonna do a little fishing. He's got the Takara, got a little mini jig on here. And look at this lake. Little pond, the fish are just hopping everywhere. So we're gonna see what we can get before having dinner. Well, we're up here at camp now. We just did a little fishing down there. Low Hobbs Lake. We got a beautiful campsite here. But this is gonna be the end of day four. I'm gonna get some nice vittles in me and go to bed. Well, it's the morning of day five. We just packed up camp. I'll show you around real quick to show you the camp with no tents. Uh, I had the Haven tarp set up right there. I had the Altiplex right there in our cooking area. It was right here. And we had this beautiful view right down here to the lake. It's a little pond right below Hobbs, full of little brook trout. We tried fishing it last night, didn't catch any. We just couldn't match the hatch. They wanted whatever was hatching last night. But now, we have about a maybe six, seven mile hike out. We're right below Hobbs, so Hobbs is right there. Got a nice climb out of Hobbs. Or sorry, we dropped down from Hobbs and then climb back up towards Barber Lake, Eklund Lake. And then we're home stretch. Back to the car, then go check out Pinedale. Um, get some good food, find some showers. After five days, some showers would be nice. Yeah. I've talked about this before, but I'll show you again, because I got a new addition here. Um, got this purple carabiner from my friend Donna that passed away. This right here is for my friend Eric that passed away. Right here is for Alex. And right here is for my dad. That's the new addition there. A little Iowa Battleship Medallion. Because that was a ship that he served on. So that comes with me on every trip. So that way those four people hike on with me. You can see across the way, the Continental Divide, Fremont Peak over there. And we were just at the base of that the other day um, at Tidcom Basin. So we've came down through here now, heading back up. Our next uh, major stop along the way would be Barbara Lake, Eklund Lake, and then on out. As we're coming back here, uh, you can see this tree here blew down on the trail. The trail goes around it now. But earlier, yesterday, talking to a couple people on the CDT, and I guess there's a lot of blowdowns on the CDT. So they're very happy to not have any coming out. We are back at the Xterra. Had a great time out there, had some great weather. Hardly any bugs. Just perfect weather, actually. Great fishing, great hiking, and had a blast with these two. So, we're on our way out of here. We're gonna find some food and some showers. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you like this one, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Check out Monica's channel. Subscribe to her. We'll see you on the next one.